My name is Dr. Sarah Waltziki. I am the registrar in charge of academic affairs at the East African School of Aviation. Following the presidential directive closing all learning institutions in Kenya to avert the spread of COVID-19, YASA suspended all her training activities with effect from 20th March this year. We have therefore been engaging our students online to ensure that they continue learning. However, I'm delighted to inform all our clients, both local and international, that with effect from 5th of October this year, we resumed face-to-face -face learning following the reopening of all universities and tertiary institutions in Kenya. We have put in place all the relevant COVID-19 health and safety measures to avert the spread of the virus at the school. We have been assessed by the Ministry of Health and the Tibet Authority for compliance. And I'm glad to say that we are ready. I'm Dr. Oliver Sindabi, Dean of Students at the East African School of Aviation. I wish to welcome you to this session. It's been a challenging year, I must say, but uh, we have kept our hope and our dreams alive, and we are now back in school. As you are aware, we opened our doors for our students to resume face-to-face -face learning following the government uh, directives. And uh, our students are back. Uh, many of them, the engineering students, are currently doing their exams. Flight dispatch was also here, they've done the exams, they are now uh, have begun the face-to-face -face learning programs. For us to have reopened, we had to put in place COVID-19 response measures, which include uh, ensuring that the spacing in the classrooms meets the government regulations. For instance, we have ensured that the seating arrangement is within the guidelines where we, we, we ensure that the students are separated and the distance is one, one and a half meters. My name is Judy Dakasan. I'm the nursing officer at IASA. We are guided both by the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Health in implementing health and safety protocols that, but, that have been approved by the Ministry and so are in use here. So our protocols basically begin at the gate. When you get to IASA, there is the security team that has been trained by myself and the Nairobi West Hospital on how to do proper screening. So they will take temperatures of all the people who are getting into the gate. And if your temperatures are above what is stipulated by the government, then they will request you to stand aside and after a few minutes, retake the temperature. If the temperature remains high, then they will request you to visit the nearest clinic that is managed by myself and I will guide you on what to do next. At the gate, you will be requested to put on your mask because at IASA, everybody who's in these premises must put on their masks at all times. At the same point, there is a hand washing and there is also sanitizing of your hands that will be guided by the security staff. When you get into the premises, depending with where you're going, you will be guided by the same security team. If you're going to the admin section, then there will be another screening because we have some staff who live internally and probably their temperatures have not been taken at the main gates. So that will also will be done there. We are also taking contact of all the people who are getting into the premises. As you all know, this is for contact tracing in case we find a case of COVID amongst us. After that, uh, when we go to our classrooms, we are observing physical distancing. The setup, of you, as you have seen, uh, the students' desks have been placed at uh, 1.5 meters apart and also the lecturer's table is about two meters apart so that this will ensure that in case there is an infection then the students are able uh, with the masks then the students will be covered and probably will not get the infection. We are encouraging on our students to keep their masks on at all times. We are encouraging our students as much as possible to reduce on social 
social, uh, socializing amongst themselves and try and limit their groups to as few as possible. Even for our practical sessions where the students have to go and use our labs, we are encouraging the lecturers to put the groups in very small groups so that this can, uh, the, the interaction, the physical and the social distance can be observed. Further to this, we are ensuring that the desks uh, that the students are using, the lecturers' tables, the doors, the handles, the telephones, are uh, being cleaned and disinfected as per the ministry guidelines. And every Friday, we are having a major, an, a major dis, uh, fumigation for the school. This will further ensure that uh, COVID is kept at the lowest risk possible in this institution. Further to that, we have ensured that we have encouraged, we have sensitized our staff, our lecturers, our catering staff, our students on the measures that are being taken to ensure that they remain safe at all times. I therefore take this opportunity to assure all our students, our parents, our guardians, our instructors and all other staff that YASA is a safe learning environment. We are ready for you. Do not hesitate to contact us for all your training needs and we shall continue offering the same quality aviation training like we have always done. Welcome back to YASA.